जी हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर न्यू चैनल डायनामिक कोडर टुडे वी स्टार्ट विद आवर फर्स्ट वीडियो मल्टी लेयर स्विच एंड आल्सो यूजिंग एसवीआई एसवीआई इज स्विच वर्चुअल इंटरफेस सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मल्टी लेयर स्विच एंड लेयर टू स्विच इज दैट अंडर लेयर टू स्विच यू कैन बी एबल टू परफॉर्म द राउटिंग फंक्शनलिटी सो इफ यू वांट टू गेट कम्युनिकेट द वीलन 10 एंड वीलन 20 you just have to add the router to it and with the help of router you can start the inter vlan routing and with the help of it you can able to perform the vlan functionality as vlan 10 can able to communicate with vlan 20 okay but the difference is using the multi layer switch is that you just have to enable the ip routing command because it performs the function of adding the ip addresses to it okay so today we start with this configuration and i label i can show you that the vlan 10 can able to communicate with vlan 20 okay first we'll go to our first configuration okay i have actually done with my configuration you can see that i have added the ip addresses at 10.1 and my ip default ip address default gateway is 10.10 as i have done on my but switch to pc1 as 20.1 20.10 is my default gateway okay and we just go to our multi layer switch okay the first command is enable config configure terminal okay and we add our vlan vlan 10 name is six because we are adding vlan 10 in the with the name sales and vlan 20 my mistake vlan 20 name equal to management it is from management department now we have added both this vlans to our multi layer switch now we have to start with our interface as interface f a 0 slash 1 and switch port more switch port more access switch port access vlan 10 Okay. Again, interface F A zero slash two. We switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN. Lan access VLAN 20. Okay, we are done with both of the interfaces as VLAN. Okay, again we have to start the IP addresses to multi layer switch as interface F interface VLAN 10. We are using this command interface VLAN 10, and uh, you can now able with the help of interface VLAN 10. Okay, and then we just add the IP addresses. Address is 192.168.10.10.255.255.255.0. No shut comma, and also we have to start with our IP routing comma. With the help of it, you can perform. You can add the IP addresses to that switch interface. VLAN 20 IP address 192.168.20.10.255.255.255.0 as it is slash 24 IP address no shut command okay and then exit so do show interface brief. sorry do show ip interface brief okay 
we with the help of it you can see that the vlan 10 and vlan 20 we have provided the ip addresses to it as 10.10 and 20.10 and all the interfaces in up condition and now we can able to check that pc1 can able to communicate to pc2 or else not okay just go to pc2 come on from ping ping 192.168.20.10 you can just show it is just showing that the reply is like from the four packet being sent the four is being received on the another level okay so as what as simple as it is that the how multi layer switch can able to perform the functionality of both the vlans that can able to communicate with each other and that's how i end this video and you just have to remember that the multi layer switch performs the routing function but the ip routing command is not enabled on it you have to add the command in your multi layer switch as ip routing with the help of it you can able to add the ip addresses to your multi layer switches okay okay thank you for watching this video